sort the defense and the crowd, and it's working. Of course, the Riverdale fans are helping. It's just a, as big a play for them. Third down and seven. Third down and goal from the seven. Brian Smith back in the lineup. Slotted to the right side. Inside handoff has a hole. Is he in? Looks like they stopped him just short. Just they did. Short. Big play for the Devils. Did you see who made the tackle? I'm not sure. Was, uh, there was about four or five white jerseys there. Fourth and goal from the one foot line. A big play for the Devils that time. Now an even bigger play for Dean Fisher as he calls his second timeout with a minute and a half to play in the third quarter. It looked like uh, Smith had a big hole. It's uh, coming back from his uh, wing, is a wing back position. Had the trap. Looked like he had the hole, and somebody just grabbed his ankle. Part of Smith, I think, was across the goal line, but the ball wasn't, and that's the important thing. Looked like one Blue Devil made an initial hit, and about four or five were able to get there in a hurry and make the stop before he could kind of crawl into the end zone. Nice job by Lebanon defense. They've, they've passed the first test. Right here's the big one. Right here, fourth down and less than less than a yard. It would be interesting if Burge doesn't try the same uh, trick Cadence call that uh, Brindley did a few moments ago. Of course, you can't score on a penalty, but it would give them four new downs. And it would make uh, Dean Fisher breathe a little bit easier. I wouldn't be surprised to see Burge keep it and go right over the center. We're fixing to find out, though. Definitely right here, the biggest play in the football game so far. Jimbo Daniel, the center, leads the Warriors up to the line of scrimmage. The crowd on both sides gets into it. Burge straight ahead, touchdown. A minute 28 to play in the third quarter. Burge gives Riverdale a three to nothing lead. Set up by a fumble recovery and returned by Spence Wade of better than 50 yards, I would say, or close to it. To set Riverdale up at about their, about the 11 and 18. Burge kept it, went right over the middle. That's your best bet. Did a nice job and got in the end zone. I'm trying to read the number of the kicker. I believe that's Jarrett Millsaps, number 68, who's going to try to kick the extra point. Burge will hold a straight ahead kicker. Millsaps a lineman by trade. Kick is up. No good. It was a line drive, but sliced to the right. So Riverdale on top, six to nothing. Well, that that will help River or uh, eleven and some. That the fact that the it's not seven, but instead six. Well, Lebanon has a quarter plus one twenty-eight to try to even it up. And if they won't get down on themselves too much, that last drive before the fumble, they were looked like they were really starting to uh, assert themselves on the line. Looked like they really woke up early right there, and they were really moving the ball well, and everything was just working out fine. But the fumble, it looked like they took the air out of them there for just a second. Hopefully, Lebanon can come back and and, and, and get their heads back on and, and really play well. Mark Medley tried to just say, tell the offense, forget the turnover, forget the score. Let's remember the good things we did on that drive. Juan A. Jennings back deep for the Blue Devils. He'll receive Millsap's kick. Mills, uh, Jennings back at his own nine yard line. Lebanon definitely being tested here. Probably were not tested all that much against Mount Julia last week, but this is definitely a very good football game, and Lebanon is, is, is we're going to find out what they're made of, if they can really buckle down right here and, and come back and, and recover from that turnover. Well, Lebanon, Mount Julia did drive the ball to the Lebanon 20 several times last week, but came up short on fourth down, but they never got it to the one. Jennings from the six. Out of bounds at the 30. They'll spot it just short of the 32-yard line, so not a bad return. Although probably not good enough for the Lebanon coaches in the booth just to our right. We felt a little vibration coming from there. Some fists were hitting some tables. They wanted a block, but it wasn't there, and they didn't get it. One block could have opened it up. 
Now they'll spot it just across the 30, so Lebanon 69 and a half yards away from the end zone with a minute 21 to play in the third quarter. So one thing for Lebanon, you have to remember, still plenty of time for the Blue Devils. Friendly, this is Jennings. Give it right back to him, and he is stuffed at the line of scrimmage. The first one there, number 55, Tommy Johns. Johns, with his name being called a lot, 55, right in the middle of much of the action from his linebacker spot. Still about a one-yard pickup. It looked like he gained that much, but they moved his chain, or the stick one yard ahead. Clock ticking down, 50 seconds remaining in the third period. Six to nothing, Riverdale. Lebanon needs to open up the offense and, and, and really make a, or at least attempt to make a good play, maybe open, the, open up Riverdale and spread them across the field. And Jennings again, and again it's Tommy Johns. This time it's a loss back to the 30. That'll bring up a third down and 11. Jennings never had a chance to get started there. Riverdale was already in the offensive backfield and Jennings just never had a chance to get started. Mark Medley, meanwhile, talking to Kevin Huddleston, sending the play in. Coming out is Clay Bueller. Be interesting to see if the play has Huddleston's number on it. But we'll probably have to wait till the fourth quarter. Clock is ticking down. Six seconds, five. Huddleston and Hancock to the right side, but they won't get it off. That's the third quarter. Riverdale has drawn first blood, leading at six to nothing. We'll be back for the final 12 minutes right after this. We start the fourth quarter. Lebanon with a third down and 11 from the Riverdale 30. Jim Brindley drops back. It's a screen play. Complete on the left side. This is a first down and then some. I think it's Juan A. Jennings down the far side, and he gets the first down to the 47. That's the first time Lebanon has run that play tonight. They'll mark it at the 46. I said during the break that they needed to do something like that. They needed to pass the ball. Get Riverdale's defense spread out and, and give somewhere to, to run. They can do both the run and the pass if they'll just spread the defense out a little more. I think if they can pass the ball, they can spread uh, Riverdale open up more and, and they can make a bigger play. Sonny Warmoth into the game at tight end. It's Warmoth, Skeen, and Moscardelli alternating at tight ends and Warmoth in at the moment on the left side. Brindley drops back. He's going to throw it again. L right side, complete to Clay Bueller at the 47, across the 45. Jukes his way. Still on his feet. Loses oh. the ball, but recovered by Lebanon. Credit Brian Harvey, number 54, with being at the right place at the right time. Disaster almost struck for the second time. You lose that ball, it's over. That, that, oh. Give credit to Bueller. Bueller did a nice job, made a couple of good cuts right there, and really picked up a lot more yardage than he would have. Good play by Bueller, but the hit almost knocked the ball out. Bueller, a 5'8", 160-pound junior. He is a transfer student, moved in from Greenville, Tennessee. Showing some good moves that time there. Moved in and out of traffic, and credit Brian Harvey. He just saved the day for the Devils. Rod Crutchfield straight ahead. Gets about four or five down to the 27. Now we see the Lebanon offense really moving, really moving the ball well. If they can just get down there. Well, they've had a couple of big plays now, so they're feeling good about themselves again and asserting themselves, much like they were early in the third quarter before the fumble. Bueller comes out. Kevin Huddleston comes in with the play. The big plays make you forget about the turnovers. Huddleston split wide to the left. Hancock slotted to the left side. Moscardelli tied in, lined up to the right side. Crutchfield, straight ahead, across the 30 to the 29. Number 75, Lamont Watson, helping bring down the Blue Devil ball carrier. It'll bring up a third down and three. Jonathan Haas leaves the game. Check the Lebanon receivers, Huddleston, Hancock, Looks like, no, that's Sonny Warmer, 36, that's lined up as a tight end. Brindley fakes, now gives to Hancock, oh. who drops it, picks it up, and is in big trouble. Loses yardage back to the 40. 
Hancock dropped a swing pass last week against Mount Juliet. It was behind the line of scrimmage, so it was still alive, but he, he was alert enough to pick it up and make a big play of it. But that time, he picked it up and just had no, uh, no chance. Riverdale right there. Fourth and 14. Looking, Fourth. Ba looking back at it, it might have been better off if he had just fell on it right there. Fourth down and 14, and now Lebanon, which is a couple of big plays already, needs another one. Beeler back in, Huddleston leaves. The Blue Devils with the ball just short of the river of the Riverdale 34. They need to get to the 21 and a timeout called by Riverdale. Timeout. Riverdale. That will leave the Warriors with just one time, well, no, with no timeouts remaining for the final 9-16. So, of course, as long as Riverdale has the lead, it won't really matter that much. But uh, Lebanon should tie it or even go ahead, and Riverdale has the ball late. That loss of timeouts could really hurt the Warriors right down there in good position and, and that really hurt them. That has really hurt them. 9-16 left. That, it could be hard to get back down there. Well, it's a game like this Lebanon needs. A close game that they pull out late. Last year they went 9-2 and two, but all of the wins were blowouts or near blowouts that were all but decided by the fourth quarter. The two close games Lebanon was in, they lost. And I think if Lebanon is going to, looking ahead, if they should advance to the playoffs for a third straight year, if Lebanon is going to advance in the playoffs, they have to learn to win the close ones, and they haven't done that in two years. 